This is Mission Control Houston. The Expedition 34 crew has had a full plate starting off another week in space on board the International Space Station, working on station maintenance tasks and scientific experiments while preparing for a new cargo ship to arrive and for a Soyuz spacecraft to depart in about three weeks' time. After a morning exercise session, Station Commander Kevin Ford went to work doing maintenance on the Amin swing bed. That's a technology demonstration payload that's testing whether the vacuum-generated amine system can be an efficient and effective system for removing carbon dioxide from the spacecraft's crew area. He will complete that task uh, tomorrow, and the teams will then evaluate whether or not there is a need to return any parts of this hardware to the Earth on the next Dragon cargo ship. Also this morning, flight engineer Tom Marshburn was setting up for a planned Tuesday experiment run with the SPHERES Vertigo experiment. That's a demonstration of technologies for visual inspection and navigation. The uh, plan is to fly two SPHERES satellites inside the station to construct a 3D model of another object with the goal of having the satellites use that model to guide their own navigation during flight. Ford and Marshburn joined up later in the day to practice operations with Canadarm2 for this Saturday's grapple and berthing of the next Dragon cargo ship. This uh, Dragon is due to launch from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station on Friday morning at 9.10 a.m. Central Time and arrive at the station on Saturday with 1,200 pounds of supplies and experiment materials. Flight engineer Chris Hadfield helped prepare for the Dragon by getting special communication system for Dragon operations set up in the cupola, as well as packing items that are going to be returned to Earth on Dragon in late March. He started his day doing science work, though, initializing the binary colloidal alloy test apparatus and photographing samples for that physical science investigation, and then looking over training materials for the material science investigation called coarsening in solid-liquid mixtures. The experiment materials for CSLM are going to be arriving on Dragon. Flight engineers Oleg Novitsky and Yevgeny Terelkin devoted the first part of their day into preparations for departure. They are to be undocking and landing in the company of Kevin Ford uh, on March 14th, Houston time. And today, the two Russian crew members worked with the lower body negative pressure suit, which is a Russian apparatus that uses suction to pull fluids down to the lower extremities and simulate gravity, allowing crew members to evaluate their own orthostatic stability. Flight engineer Roman Romanenko spent part of his morning doing maintenance in the Russian segment of the space station and then transferring items to the Progress supply ship and updating the station's inventory management system. After lunch, he saw to maintenance with some storage batteries in the Russian segment, while Terelkin cleaned filters in the ventilation system, and Novitsky updated the inventory for spare parts for the Electron. That's the Russian system that generates oxygen for the crew members to breathe. Expedition 34 crew is looking ahead to a week filled with continuing science research that's designed to improve life on Earth, as well as help prepare people for future deep space exploration. They'll also be taking care of the day-to-day -day operations and getting ready to receive a new shipment of fresh supplies to support the ongoing mission of the International Space Station.